What day is it? What year is it? We're in crimble limbo now. <laughs> How you getting on? That's some progress. Oh, okay, good. I know. Is this the base here? Oh, is the base eye? Wait, so, is this... so you can see. Hold on. Let me just stop making my windows. So, how good? Is that the Grand Hall? Great Hall. Great Hall. <laughs> so there's a Great Hall, that's where Dumbledore sits. I made all my windows. There is the Chamber of Secrets. There's a Chamber of Secrets underneath the Great there's Hall. There's the door. Well, really, no. It's not, very, it's not very secret. It's Lego, though. Was this contraption in the boathouse? No, no, no. Look at the entrance. How cool. Is that the grand entrance to the school? That's, well, no, because it's not, it's not properly correct, because it has to be Lego, but look, this is where Harry Potter is dead! That's where he says. All right. <laughs> look at all these wee tiny pieces, man. Look at the detail on this thing. I know. So see, once it's all built, you put, where are they? The wee boats. Oh, yeah, I see now. It doesn't fit. It's great. Um, it took so long just to build the base of it. What part, what percentage do you think you're at? Maybe about ten so, percent. Nah, n n no more than that. More than ten. There's, there's four books, and I'm on like I'm about way through the second. All ah, right, okay. I'm doing it quite fast, I think, but I'm having the best time. I forgot how much I loved it. Where's the sorting hat? No sorting hat yet. Is there not? Nope. Watch that we chairs out. So there we go. There's dog, fucking dog hairs in it. <laughs> I was just saying it's now crumble limbo. That time between New Year and Christmas Eve, where not much happens. <laughs> New Year and Christmas Eve. Christmas Eve and Christmas New Year. <laughs> Why did you say it? That way around. Because that's where Crimble Limbo is. Crimble Limbo is between Christmas and New Year. Yeah, I know. Same really thing. Christmas. Same thing. Fair. No, because between New Year and Christmas is the whole 2022. Yeah, good point. Right, okay. Between Christmas and New Year, when I nothing happens. It. I love being sleepy. I what are we doing today? Building Lego, building watching Legos. watching the rest of Dexter. It's new season and going for something to eat. Yeah, going to Capri. We do How many chocolates have you eaten? Enough. Oh, not many. <laughs> this is my stash. This is <laughs> This is where I sit with my TV and my chocolates and I've already ripped some of the pages by accident and I remember doing that from when I was wee and I also remember... What, in anger or by accident? By accident, but I also remember, it, it, it was so funny, it was like, um, you know, muscle memory. I had a bit of stuff and I went like that, ah, to undo it and I was like, yeah, I used to do that all the time. <laughs> <laughs> this is probably the most useful present I've ever bought you. I cried my eyes out. Like the use you're getting out of it is mental. Do you know what? It's just so fun. You know, everyone wants hobbies. Everyone's trying to do new things that are not on their phone. This is so fun for me. I've not been to I literally, I don't think I've had another thought in my head as while well doing it. <laughs> Welcome to the vlog. You know how people do drunk get ready with me? I thought we should do drunk Lego together. Am I drunk? No, not really. Did I went out for dinner with Jack and oh it was so good. It wasn't even dinner, we went at like half past three. And now it's ten to six. But um we had a really nice dinner and I had half a bottle of wine and I brought the wine home and I've continued to drink the wine. Jack's went out to meet two of his friends, popular boy. One of them is his brother, so <laughs> that doesn't count. Because family are family. So guess who's coming to see me today? Charlotte Crozer. Crozer, do you, do you miss Charlotte? Come, give me a kiss if you want to see Charlotte. Give me a kiss if you want to see Charlotte. Kiss. Kiss me in the mouth. <laughs> that was nice. We're going to eat cheese. I'll tell you exactly what we're going to do. Lego. Online shop. Eat cheese. I'm going to drink wine. Charlotte probably will have an Aperol Sprit. She's also bringing a Velvetizer. My god. So excited. I'm not sitting here in silence either. I am watching programs, but I have to stop it when I talk to you. So just in case you think I'm a huge loser. Oh, are you, why are you, what's happening? Did you press play? Where's the remote? <laughs> you are the loves of my life. You're both gonna ruin my life when you die. Ruin it. I love you. This is coming on really, really well. I'm very, very pleased with it. I love it so much. It's probably my favorite thing I've ever done. It's actually brilliant. <laughs> I hope everyone's had a really great Christmas. Well, it's as good as it can be. I know loads of people wouldn't have been able to see their families and loads of people got sick with COVID. Coronavirus. I'm super bored of coronavirus now, as is everyone. I can't bother with it. And honestly, let me just catch you up. So Christmas day was so good. I got to see Ruby and Miley, give them their presents, Charlotte and Cara, my sisters from another misters, Jack's mum and dad, 
and then we come home and then we, we always spend like the afternoon with my mum and dad. Is she here already? Boxing day. I hung out with my mum. Oh my God, I did online shopping. I'll do a haul when it gets here. It's getting here tomorrow. I went shopping in the flannels sale. And then what else? We, I honestly, I have been in, this is the most relaxed I've ever been probably since the womb. I have had the best time. I've been reading, eating, enjoying some wine and beer and sleeping a huge amount of hours, which has been really good. One thing that's awful, really awful, I've got some terrible news. I have finished A Guitar, A Court of Thorns and Roses, etc. I finished them. I've got the worst book hangover of my life. Nothing will fill the void. I've now moved on to the Throne of Glass, but I'm nervous because I'm sure I saw Alana Davidson reading these books and saying Throne of Glass is really boring. I've already bought it. If anyone has read A Guitar and can recommend me something that will fill the void, please do, because I feel miserable. I feel really upset. Well, I might actually just read them all again. I loved that series so much. The fourth book's shit, awful, don't read it. But every other book is unbelievable. I saw a TikTok and it was like, if you've recently got into um, fantasy, fae and smut books, and I was like, that's me. Uh, so yeah, I'm really flipping depressed now. And I just want her, I just want, I feel like shit, I just want, want her back. Let's do a wee bit of Lego before I go. I'm on second book about halfway through. I can see why it's age 16 plus because it's actually quite hard sometimes. It's like, where's Wally? They tell you what pieces you need, but rarely did they tell you where they're meant to go. So you have to like figure out what's different about that bit. What's, what's wrong with this picture? Haha. Uh -huh. Nailed it. Oh, oh. Oh no. <laughs> I need to do that all over again. So I need a three, a three, and then on top of that, oh, a four. If you know what, I'll tell you this. If you've got Lego, Doing it with nails is a flipping nightmare. And there's also a lot of dog hairs trapped inside the Legos. There's nothing more satisfying than putting a block over where two blocks join. I bet people that loved Lego when they were little often went on to build houses because it is pretty brilliant. I mean, that doesn't feel right to me. Nope, it's not. Fuck. It's very raining. It's really raining. It's really raining. Had the best time last night. Charlotte came up. She stayed quite late, but we the time just flew past. We were just catching up. It's just been too long since we had a silly little, silly little sister sleepover without actually sleeping over. Um, built Lego. It looks so good. My fingers hurt. And now I'm on my way. Jack Baxter, I'm getting my extensions taken out. They have lasted me really well. I think that's 10 weeks I've had these ones in. Usually we wait like eight weeks. So it's been quite good, but you know it's time. It's time to get these out of my head. And I'm excited to see what my hair looks like. I think my hair's grown, like my own hair. And I think I'm just gonna rock my own hair for a bit. Uh, will I miss it? Yes. I look wrecked today. I didn't think I had any makeup on yesterday and I forgot I put mascara on and I woke up and I had black right around my eyes. Right, let's go. Let's go get this hair to take it out. Chaz, Chaz, what's this? Sit. <laughs> so glam. I'm so sleepy. And all I've done is go and get my extensions out. Right, let me just put you here. Short hair, but I mean, I'm used to my hair being mental thick with all my extensions. But it looks good. I've just got up a clip cause that is my favourite way to wear my hair at the moment. It's just so easy and it's out of my face. So we went for dinner at Caprese Don Costanzo last night and Elia gave us meatballs to take home. Uh, basically gave us our dinner for tonight. I had a dinner pasta, right? This pasta is so bougie, but it's the best, 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 best pasta. What's it called again? I'm trying to uh, remember. Cav Giuseppe Coco. Is the ultimate. Just look for this packet, you can get it in Waitrose, right? I know. Woo! So it's worth it, it's so worth it. It's so good. It's just like we passed the tubes, mm -hmm. but there's something about it, it's just unbelievable. So I've just been heating up the meatballs on a low heat, although I let it in at uh, 
-hmm. I didn't stir them and I think I burnt them a wee bit. Let me see. Just at the bottom. It's okay. Nah, they look good. It'll be okay. Yeah, I think they're supposed to go a wee bit crispy. I forgot to come and stir them. I was too busy. And I'm using my only, I keep on wanting to call it only pans. It's not called only pans. It's <laughs> called our place. Our place, big pan. Uh, I got it for Christmas. Because of the huge success that is my our place frying pan. The only pans is genius though. If anyone wants to take that idea and start a pan company called Only Pans, pretty smart, I think. How much do you want, cheese wise? Just do some to sprinkle on top. Ah. Chill kill it. It's not Parmesan, really, I'm sorry. If it's cheddar, <laughs> Cathedral City. But yeah, it's been another great but slow day. I uh, had a wee bit of work to do, which I did. And I sat and I made, you know, everyone's doing these recaps of 2021. Obviously 2021 was a bit of a weird year, again. I'm not saying nothing about 2022, nothing. I'm not gonna jinx it. But making that wee video made me just so happy. I'm just so grateful for you all being here. It's just the coolest thing. I can't believe I get to do this. I still can't believe I get to do this. Oh, everything that happened with Vive this year is totally nuts. Harrods and Cult, uh, oh, Cult we've launched with already. So many launches, the pop-up best time ever i was looking at old photos of the pop-up actually and it was just so good it was so good so tomorrow i'm actually filming a couple of bits i was gonna film a new year's video but do you know what i might do i might film getting ready for new year's because we weren't going to Cara's house i might film actually getting ready and just chat a little bit because most of the time i never think about new year's resolutions and i actually have quite a lot for next year there's things that i'm like no i'm not doing that again or i'm needing to change this or i want to do more of this one of them is cooking and i'm already well i know i won't give them that but I know that I'm essentially just heating something up right now, but yeah, I thought so what I'm gonna do then. Oh, that's a smart idea. Because me and Jack are off next week. So if I was to film that on New Year's Eve, which is on Friday, then we've got that video for next week. Okay. Sold. Hogmanay morning, I'm gonna film. And then tomorrow I'm filming some bits for Vive. Gently, gently back to work is quite nice. Crimble limbo. Even if you're at work. It's not hard working between Christmas and New Year if you're not in retail. Although, if you're working in retail, what's it like? Is it busy? Is it actually busy right now? Charlotte left her tub. I need to keep that safe. I've not been to the shops in the longest time. And you know, I did all my Christmas shopping online. I did not venture into the city centre once. Oh, I'm not gonna lie. I'm hungry, but I don't know if I'm hungry enough for this. It looks really big. Do you know what? I can't get my head around the fact that Americans call pasta like spaghetti, they call it noodles. Noodles are not spaghetti. Spaghetti is spaghetti. Pasta noodles. Oh my god, it's so good. I'm done. Turn you off. Pick you up. Oh girl, it's you. I watch TV with Yum. Do I see? Meatballs. It looks very green on camera, it's not. It's a beautiful rich tomato sauce. That's what we're having for dinner. Yeah. Uh, hello. Today has been great. We had a proper lie in this morning again. I filmed and then added on to the makeup just because I felt like it was really good. Um, I thought we could unbox the stuff I bought uh, from Flannels. They look at the state living room. I've been in a Lego hole and it's been so good. I don't think we've spent as much time at home ever. So what I'm thinking is I'm going to show you what I got from Flannels. We'll do a wee try on because I actually need to clear it away. And I've also not really, I've not spoken about what I got for Christmas. I don't know if it's poor taste or not, but I got some really great stuff that, you know, I quite like treating myself as well at Christmas time. If I see someone's got something, I'm like, oh, what's a nice idea? So I'm going to show you. I was going to say it's nothing mental. It's mental to me. I, I was very excited. One of the things obviously is the Harry Potter castle Lego, which I have wanted since I was so small. So that's been great. And also, is that an electric scooter? Yes, it is. It's all I wanted for Christmas. And all I've done is go out in our street and go backwards and forwards, and it's enough. Trust me. Right. Cool. Do you know what I really like? The fact things come in little pouches. I'll keep these for packing if me and Jack get to go away. Oh, I'm really excited. I got a ton of Ganny stuff. Ganny is my favourite at the moment. Loads of it was in the sale and I couldn't help myself. I got some Anina Bing. Oh, how exciting. Right, let's try on these trousers first because if they fit, I'll be so happy. Uh, I think these are great. Anina Bing trousers in particular always fit me everywhere. Waist is good. Length is great, but I just think everything's always really tight across here, like these buttons. But I've got, like, is that too, are they too tight? No. 
I just love them. Oh, and you know what? I can just wear them with a t-shirt. Do you like these? Ross Geller pants. Ross Geller pants. Oh, shut up. Do you know what I think? They're cool. Yeah, they are cool. Do they fit me all right? They're grossly they're... hot. No, they're like stretchy and comfy. They're, they're, they're not leather. They're like pleather. This skirt on it, it says it's a medium, but then it says it's a size 42. It doesn't fit. <laughs> this does not fit me, so that's a shame. Unless I wore it really low down, but I think, I don't know if you're meant to wear it that low down. Do you think that's nice? It's too big, isn't it? Yeah, it looks weird. <laughs> it looks weird. <laughs> right, okay. We have a winner. I think there's something so cool about this shape. Uh, this is, I know that not everyone's gonna like it, but it's like a shirt trouser combo, but the material is really, really cool. And I just thought, see with a big pair of boots, I'm not done it properly at my neck, but with a big pair of boots, I feel very chic in this. Oh my God, I love it. There's much comfier than I thought it would be. Oh, I've got a tag sticking into my bum. These are both from Gani. Uh, the top, all they had left was a small to medium, and I probably would have got a bigger size just because it's a wee bit, tight on my arms, but actually it's fine, just because it's quite forgiving. Um, and the trousers are bigger. These are a, a 40, a medium. What do you think? Do you not think I look a wee bit like a disco diva meets power suit bitch? Yeah, love, love. Another absolute winner. Look at this track suit. <gasps> oh, the quality, the cut, the fit. I know it's just a grey tracksuit, right? It is not just a grey tracksuit. Every time I wear this, I will feel nothing but my best self. I have big visions of me. I'm putting it into the universe. Me at the airport, just about to get on a long haul flight. I've got sunglasses on because I am that bitch at the airport that wears sunglasses. It makes me feel cool. I highly recommend everyone tries it. Oh my God, yeah. Champagne, yes, please. I'm comfortable, but I feel great. Oh my God, I'm so happy. This I got in a large, so large bottoms, large top. I'm not gonna try this on because I know this will fit me great because Jack got me a Ghani t-shirt for Christmas and this is gonna be the same fit. So a large in the t-shirts is a really nice um, fit. It's not oversized, I don't think. It just fits great. Love. I quite like a graphic tee at the moment. Nothing too wild, but just a graphic tee. It's pretty much just like a nice basic, isn't it? I also got my favorite Ghani jumper i've got it in white and i love it so much but i only really wear it in the summer uh i got a gray version that has have a nice day and it's got a smiley face on it it's the coziest material look see how it's soft some things i like being soft inside but see if i want something like this one the softness doesn't last forever it never does like the weave jumpers i made them the same as the Harley Davidson jumpers. So see the Harley Davidson jumpers I wear, they're not soft on the inside, but they last 20 years. That's what I'll say about that. Look how cool. Oh my God. Gani. Gani. Look how cool. And it's just the most comfy oversized. I don't know about, is there something about the cut? Uh, do you like it? Look how cool, how look. Are you jealous of my trackies, Jen? I would say that was really successful. I can't remember if this is the one that I ordered or not. I'll check. But this is the Anina Bing hoodie. I don't have anything in this colour and I thought this with a leather jacket over it is perfect to me. Uh, and I like, I do like light clothes, they just scare me because I ruin them. And this is not super soft. This is kind of like the Fave Jumper material so this will last me forever. I'm gonna get changed back into my clothes and I need to show you the last thing I got, which is my Christmas present to myself. Wait until you see this. You ready? <coughs> this is my new coat. It's the Max Mara Teddy coat. Flannels had 500 pound off. Don't ask me why, because everywhere I looked, it was all full price, but it had 500 pounds off it. And I, I, I gasped. <laughs> and then I just thought, I was like, it's not gonna be the right thing. It is, look. Why are you so obsessed? I'm not your, I'm not your. <laughs> I've not worn it uh, outside, still got tags on it. Um, I've got it on display just so I can enjoy it. Um, but I'm pretty delighted. Oh, the jacket of dreams. And look, I got a size medium because that's what they had left. Uh, and I really thought it was going to be too wee for me, but it's fine. I love everything about it. I think I've wanted this jacket for two years. So I'm pretty buzzing. It's really nice and oversized. It obviously dropped shoulder and everything. Thank you for coming to my haul. I'm not doing this again for a long time.
because that was too much money. Do, 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 do. Happy New Year's Eve! Live, love, lateral flow. Just did a lateral flow. It's cooking as we speak, just a wee precaution. Alexa, stop. I spent today, I filmed this morning. I know. I can see you. Um, I filmed this morning. Uh, I really liked it. I mean, I hope so. I rabbled a lot. It's more like a chatty, get ready with me, catch up on everything that's been going on and a little reflection over 2021. I found some old notebooks with some stuff that I've written in it and I just talk about that a lot and what I want to do going into next year. So it's kind of like a resolutions video, catch up, honest chat about how I was feeling like this time last year how I'm feeling now, things that I want to prioritise. I feel like it was quite self-indulgent, which is not my fave, but I love watching other people's like videos like that, if that makes sense. Oh my God, I actually hate doing lateral flows so much. It stings my nose. Yeah, I really like watching people's videos like that. It makes me feel quite inspired sometimes, gives me ideas. Comfort sometimes, gives me a little bit of comfort. Anyway, I've changed my hair since I filmed because my slick rick, I've got no extensions in as I've mentioned and um, my slick rick was just looking a bit like a, more like a sad rick so I've done a wee bun and I need to get changed I don't have a clue what I'm wearing look I'm literally wearing a trackie right now but we're leaving in about an hour and a half so I've got plenty of time I just took Drogba out of walk me and Drogba have been walking together an awful lot Drogba is the easiest old man to walk ever uh, and sometimes we do split the dogs up when they go on their walks, just because, you know, it's a reactive baby still. Uh, to give drugs by a wee chilled out walk, it's quite nice. How am I looking? Ah, oh, she's looking negative. So, the Waitrose shop. Let's do it together. So, bottled beers are my favourite. So, we have some Moretti. Got my Waitrose every, what do you call it? I don't really call it an everyday bag. It's a bag for life. I'm going to pack it right now. We also have some Singer. I just flipping love a bottled beer. I've got some Acai. I have some limes and some mint for making Hugo's. Hugo's are my cocktail. They are my cocktail. This is what I make. And all you need for a Hugo is, San Germain, is a elderflower liqueur. It's probably my favourite thing of all time. I could drink this with ice. I've got two bottles of that. And the way that you make a Hugo, I'll pop a link to a recipe because it's my favourite. Oh, okay, there's Prosecco here too. I'll take that. A bottle of Moe. Is this not called Moe? I saw someone calling it Moet the other day. I'm going to call it Moe. Because Moet sounds like you're saying it wrong. Even if it's right, it sounds like you're saying it wrong. So I've got a bottle of Moe. I've got a bottle of Prosecco. And yet all you need for a Hugo is champagne slash Prosecco, shot of gin, shot of Saint Germain, I did two shots because I like it sweet, soda water, ice, garnish with a lime, don't squeeze the lime, garnish with a lime and a sprig of mint and you put it in a big goblet. It's basically like an Aperol spritz but I think it's better because Aperol after a while I get sick of it. What did I just say there? Gin, that's what I'm taking. Any coffee beans? Ah. Oh shit. Jamie Genevieve gin. <laughs> so the drinks on the menu, beer, red wine, rosy wine, Hugo's to start us off because it's, it's a champagne cocktail essentially and then espresso martinis for after dinner. I have a huge bottle of red wine to share with everyone from the Dona Fogata vineyard. I sound so choice. I've got a bottle of Whispering Angel and I really feel like we're sorted. I have Kahlua for espresso martinis and I've also got vodka. This is Reka, small batch vodka handcrafted in Iceland. I've never tried this before. Um, I don't really drink vodka a lot, but I love Iceland. I've also got two big bags of ice and I need to have a cocktail shaker. Really fun. And I've just been told that we're getting picked up at six, so I've got an hour and 15 minutes. So I'm gonna put most of this stuff in a bag, just the ice left, and then I'm gonna get ready. And I'll be back when I'm ready to show you my fit. Hey there, you're a rock star. Get the game on, go play. Oh, that like it's just atrocious. <laughs> Not doing this today. Right, let me talk you through it. These boots <laughs> are Zara. Best purchase of my life. This is my ASOS leather jacket I've had for about three years. And this is the dress. <laughs> uh, this dress I've had for two years. And I've worn it every new year, but I've been in my house, so it doesn't count. We're not going out, we're going to Kaz's house for dinner, but we're having drinks. 
and she told us specifically to dress up. So here I am. Can we take a moment for the dress? And now for the back of the dress. No, nothing's going on at the back of the dress. But feathers in New Year are a match made in heaven. Yeah, it's really comfy, this dress as well. It's got space and it's got a little cheeky slit. So I'm quite happy with it. Not delighted about my baldy I've given myself. Oh, in the bag. Oh God, I feel like I'm talking about a lot of bougie things this week. I really am um, sorry if that upsets you. But um, I got this bag just before we launched Vive. It's a well done to myself. I think this is actually the last, oh, is it? yeah, this is the last designer bag I bought myself. And I'm very much in the mindset that I don't think I need another one unless something comes along and blows my mind because this bag, is everything to me. Uh, I wear it all the time. I got in trouble for saying this, but it does fit a laptop in it. And I've done that on the plane before. It's all about getting the use out of it. It's the Chanel Maxi Flap 19, I think. Touched up the makeup, slicked the hair, and I finally put more necklaces on. I used to wear way more necklaces than just the two I've been wearing. And I can't remember why I took them off. I think they were breaking. I think one broke or something. Anyway, I found another chain uh, and I feel like I'm back to myself. I think Jamie's a three necklace or more type of girl. But I'm gonna round the vlog off here. It's Friday, it's Friday night. We're just about to get picked up. I just really hope that you all had a lovely Christmas and New Year. And just thank you so much for such a brilliant year. What could have been a shit year, and I'm sure was a shit year for many, you all, I don't know, let me have a great year with all your support. Um, and it just means the world. Jack, you gonna say Happy New Year? Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. See you in the next one. Yeah. See you next week. <laughs> see you next one. I'll see you next week. <laughs> Bye. Cheers to me and you. Well done. Well done. How you looking the rain, girl? I'm really fist in this glass, aren't I? Can I get a fire? Can I get a fire? Can I get a fire? And the uh testing positive for being Sexy bitch, but negative for COVID. Weirdly, I need to bang stuff. Oh my god, why do I keep on saying the word stuff? Hi, Tudor! Hi, Tudor! Oh, loving, loving dog. <laughs>